Kate Silverton, who we're going to be hearing from in just a tick, is one of the growing number of people who say the naughty step uh, for children invokes shame and that actually it could be doing more harm than good as a tool for disciplining our kids. So here we are, we're all parents. And, and Nadia, you and I had our kids, and you too, Judy, your kids are a wee bit younger, but mm. the naughty step was the big thing. It was the big it? thing, but I didn't do it. Did you not do no, it? No, I didn't do it. I did time out a couple yeah. of times, but it just sort of yeah. went by the wayside. I think you've got to be a real good patient parent to deliver the naughty step, cos after they've got up three times, I just think I can't <laughs> even be bothered anymore. <laughs> I think I'm probably the worst parent. I, look, I either am really calm and have all the time in the world for my kids, or I'll lose it. <laughs> what do you think about this shaming a kid, though? Like, do you think it's... Cos Kate really believes that that's wrong. To call wrong. it the naughty step. To sh did you labeling. ever get shamed by your parents? Yeah, I mean, they're still shaming me now, but in a nice <laughs> way. I'm... I feel really differently about shame. I'm not very, like, down with the kids on the mm. word shame mm. and what it means, because I actually think that in life, sometimes, there are moments when you need to feel ashamed of your actions. What, and when did you feel ashamed, then? What did you, you do? You know, I've done, something, I've done some horrible things to my mum growing up as a teenager that I, that I should have been ashamed of at the time. And I think sometimes when... The shame that my... And, and I say shame in a way of... A lot of the time, it was more, they, you know, embarrass me. Or if we were in this... If we were going... If I was going for my school report and the teacher said, oh, she's distracting everyone around her and, she, you know, they're all failing because she thinks she's a clerk and whatever, he would go up to all of the students and their parents and make me apologise mm. and say... You're kidding. Yeah, well, he would be well, like, shame. So my daughter's been distracting your daughter. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm oh, so sorry. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but I did. I was embarrassed. But it also shaped me positively. Yeah. You know, I, I, I was forced to have a look at what I was doing and what that implications had on other people. I think... I, I think, and I hate to say it because it's probably wrong and we all mess up our children anyway, to be fair, um, I don't think shame, shame is a bad thing. You know, I, I, I'd love to be Thank God we didn't go night. to the same school, Stacey. <laughs> I feel like people get confused with the word shame and, and, and understanding, feeling disappointed, yeah? And I don't <laughs> think there's nothing wrong with a child realising, oh, I dis I, they disappointed you. Look, when I was young and I went to school, same like you, my mum used to come to parents' evening and it's like this teacher knew, like, saying to my mum, you know, Mrs Love, you know, unfortunately, you know, she's the cast can, and my mum would be like, Jesus, God, why? <laughs> Come on, Grandpa, you for shit me? And she would start, but the pressure, the pressure. And I'd be well, in, the, 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 in the middle of the hall, and all my friends knew what my mum was like, so they'd be laughing, like, oh, my gosh, look, Judy's mum's <laughs> kicking off. And that was... <laughs> that was some people would see as shame, but in that moment of disappointment, I mean, mummy. What it, did you feel when she was doing? I that? just felt like, why my mother? I mean, like she was there, <laughs> and it wasn't no naughty set for me. It was go sit down, Miss Effa, sit down. So in front of the teacher, and my teacher would, I think my teacher found it funny because when she was like, yeah, oh God, Jesus, he'd be sitting there going, and you know the other day, so she would just get even <laughs> more. Wind her up even more. She'd be like, you see, you see, you? when we go on, watch when we go on. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but look, Mummy, the class clown, you know, turned into a comedian. But look, you're a comedian Yeah, that. I, I really feel... I hear what you're saying, Stacey. I feel like, you know, obviously, you never want to harm your child emotionally. You don't see what, how they're going to turn into older. But there's some things I understood, the disappointment, it yeah. built character for me, and I, I turned out all right, I think. You yeah. did. <laughs> let's, let's, get, let's get Kate's uh, take on this one. Uh, she went from the newsroom to the ballroom before swapping it all for the classroom. Uh, yeah. Now, Kate Silverton is on a mission to change the way we think about parenting forever, and she's here to tell us all about it. Hi there, Kate. Okay. Hi. Hi. So Hi. nice to see you. Thanks for the laughter already. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, still in the studio. Yeah, look, shame, there's a difference, I think, between consequences, understanding consequences, that our behaviour, our actions have consequences. When we're talking about shame with very young children, there is a sense of my self-worth. And actually, shame, if we talk to any of the psychotherapists and psychologists and psychiatrists that I've interviewed for the book, they will say, and this is unequivocal in terms of the science, is that what actually shame is doing in very young children is creating a sense of negative self-worth. So for all our sort of most of our adult insecurities, will stem from shame that we might have felt as children. The key thing about the naughty step, not only does it invoke shame, which is a really pernicious emotion for, for very young children, never mind the consequences later in school, 
But for our very young children, it, it, it creates a feeling that I'm not good enough. And actually, not only that, but no one's going to sit with me while I'm feeling these massive feelings. So when we punish our children for behaviour that actually, as I explain in the book, actually comes from a, their sort of an immature brain development, because they're very young, their brains are still developing, they have these big emotions that come in, and they're all out there, so they're acting stuff out. Our job, and this is really key for future mental health, our job as parents is to help our children to regulate their emotions. And that's really the key to future mental health. And that's why I say it's so important to bin the naughty step and instead bring in the soothing stare, which is when we can sit with our children. We're still going to teach them boundaries and that they're consequences, but we're going to sit with them in those moments of overwhelm and help them to regulate 